it and when i return back the favor to you you could have done <laughs> me blood club it's like that you hey, can't anger the situation because me are making me food hot like me and i'm also looking for my phone and talk to me hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel so today i will be doing part two of how oh, my baby daddy and i broke up and today in this video i'll be like trying to go <laughs> as deep as possible if you haven't watched part one you can also view the link in the description and do so so before we get into this video please remember to like share comment and subscribe and please i'm asking you guys to do not skip that let's just be honest let's just be real so basically today i'll be talking about why me and such person break up my god in a dip like my god to get as deep as possible so anyways my mom and dad telling us say um the brother yes sorry about that that brother all right so it was basically like this he started to do the bullshit and managa pretty i won't be pretty enough things are, are like it's a blame game so basically when he started to doing stuff and i found out the concrete like in adalasa like a bitch got a dip I did have to do one more for them. Like, literally, like, just imagine you're in a relationship, but you're not in the relationship mentally. That's weird, right? So, it was a case where I was still there because, like, I never have no other option for a period of time. Even when I keep up in foolishness, I must sleep in one room, I sleep in one room. And it was like that. He wasn't supporting his child the way he was supposed to support his child and one day i sat like i was very revengeful like me for doing stuff like doing stuff you feel me like we argue first of all is that a type of individual you and him argue that's why i push myself to be independent you and him argue i say Come on time always and re baby me. Like I'm a baby mother, which real man do that. Like you start a bullshit and when I return but the favor to you, you couldn't handle it. And it was just like that. In can't anger the situation because me I make him foot hot. Like me and I'm also I'm looking my phone and talk to hurt my people then because you the inner ear always because you a fear always. Him did then a him house and he might talk to him people them so why not? I'm going to talk to my people. Why not? I'm going to go out there. I'm going to sh you feel me? So it was like it was in the last half. I'm going to him did a be like you know that um you know the type of attitude where you feel as if the person cannot do without you because the person is with you. The person they uh, each up a year yard you understand it's basically like a cat situation so but have me but me never want to go down oh. at first because the old jam and the old excitement and then through the old the it, persons talk to me about him so it's kind of like embarrassed to like go back home to my home at the time and there wasn't any light and it was kind of difficult because we never have not them never have no light. We me have light up your yard, me have your baby and you tell me say, you forgot me yard. So my dead there I got through the bullshit, me I work and meanwhile me I work, 
I focus and say, you know, so I have to do what I have to do because at the end of the day, I have a child. So, that's all. And to be honest, when I really look back at it, I kind of thank him for do whatever he do. When it comes on to how he be treat me, because maybe if he never treat me that particular type of way, I would be still there. And everything that I heard would have been between us. And me and my dad are longer. Me, remember, nothing lasts forever, right? So maybe I'll, I'm the type of individual. I'm going to get the house straight. I'm going to turn the house in our home. So therefore, if I see things to be done, I'm going to use my money and do it. Or I'm going to take the money from you and do it. And then all of them, somebody did start in process. But when I realized, well, no. When we did fear So it was a case sir. I thank him for telling me to come out. Me thank him because at the end of the day, I get to become a woman and he teach me how persons can be. So even though it was a harsh situation, I learned from the situation because I learned how to go out there and fully be on my own because <coughs> why I say this now it's not a matter when I pick up theme but more I understand sometimes we as female we are laid back too much and that's just the truth if you not have somebody out there push you to go out whether it's good or um, some woman listen now well if you not have somebody that push you out there it come like say so you just lay back and just relax so at the end of the day it might have it seems harsh and stuff like that but me happy because if you never tell me the more of things i'm going to drop in myself and say boy this this situation is not for me i am better than this so at, at that point there and then i start um get for self-love like if you have to love yourself you can't put somebody so i got the strength and the courage even though it never come positively, it came negatively, but I used the negativity to push me to do better and to become a better person. I, where, when we did it and stuff like that, it was a roller coaster. Like, literally, every minute, every minute, people, the person that come to me, I tell me, say, I'm do this, the person that go to him. So, it was basically people talking. My ignorance, film ignorance, so things just never did ever work out. And all of that. So, as I say, guys, I'm doing the things them, I'm doing the things them. Yeah, and that's just it. Like, but when it's, you get older and you sit and you look back in yourself, you're like, nah, yeah, I shouldn't even been there, but I was there, so what can I do? I was there and something I look back in and the stuff them when you there and say, you know, so you should react that particular type of way because maybe how you react but I mean I'm young, I was young and stuff like that. So you are gonna do me hurtful things, you gonna say hurtful things to me and I'm not going to reconsider, I'm not going to put it in consideration. I'm going to talk, I'm going to vent. So that's why in my relationships now I don't argue because you can say a lot of things out of anger that you don't mean trust me and you might not mean it but because you and the person of course and then i talk and i talk and i talk the other person i gotta take it personal like that's why i learned a lot from that relationship so i don't offer anger every relationship that come at me like you have to stand up firm because you all can see i did love that anger and and that's just the truth i did love him i'm a highly respect him even though he's not the father that me i try to make him to be i have highly respect to him because of certain stuff i not really disclose it because sometimes you know you want to play or play or play it all on the internet but i do hope some persons understand so even when he's a deadbeat father i just have to always never say you know what i'm saying Regardless of whatever, I'm not going to 
come and act like him alone did the things. Me do the things too. But the thing is, him start the before me. The things that with me do is like random stuff. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna do the most. Yeah, fight me, I'm gonna call the police. Yeah, do certain stuff. I'm gonna react back to you. I'm gonna know for anger certain situation at the time. I'm gonna go blare, blare, blare and vent, vent, vent because in at the time of hurting. So therefore, that's one of the main reasons why I don't argue in my relationship now because my mouth is very light and stuff like that. And I don't encourage persons to argue. Like people do argue, yes, but keep it to a limit. Like know what to accept and what not to accept. You feel me? So yeah. Um so let me get down. It started getting heated when like he might do him stuff and my certain I'm sure that he might do what he might do and stuff like that and must start do stuff that I don't care like I started to date it someone even though me in my house I started to date someone like my nice and people out pe better persons out there for me like you know so I start when I start do that a problem problem my man is doing what he's doing. He's doing what he's doing. He's doing what he's doing. With him. As I'm telling this guy, he has community. He got the community down there. So, he has community body. Community body. Everybody gets a piece of him. Everybody. So, me putting myself in that situation and looking back at it, I was like, why did the evil? Why am I did evil go there? But I'm go there. God put me there for a reason. God put me there for get a son. And I'm, I'm love him. I appreciate him. But I say sometimes in life we as female can we often lose ourselves because we are searching for something. Like we're not supposed to go out there to search for nothing. We're supposed to allow it to come to us. And that's just the truth. You just have to believe in yourself and know that you are beautiful, you are nice. And once you're in a relationship where domestic violence start to play the main role or the main part of it, it's best if you walk away because that's not nice. You don't want your kids to see you growing up getting abused and feel as if it acts, it's accept <laughs> it is acceptable. You understand so? You gotta be careful of the persons before you jump in a relationship. You gotta try to understand the person. Try out for deal with situation. You know? So it was like all of that. It was a roller coaster. And we're part of a separate race. And even when we're part of a separate race, people still like try to in an argument with me over him. Like, we're not together, but we're friends though. So. When we're friend, we're friend. When we're not friend, we're just not no friend. And this is basically it. And I do hope you enjoy this story. I know it was kind of all over the place, but I know I made some good points. So please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on so that whenever I drop another video, you'll be able to be notified. Peace out, love me.